Today, I will be walking you through how to set up an 880 Iridium camera. Step 1. We will be doing a proper survey. You start at the top, go down to the right, back up to the top again, down to the left, up to the top, and then we survey the front of the meter. While you're doing your survey, you want to make sure that the meter is easily visible and readable at all times from your point of view. Next, we will be unlocking the camera and opening the front door a quarter turn. Then, we will be connecting the guide tube and turning that a quarter turn as well to red. Take off the safety cap and wrap the cable around the key to secure the cap. Next, we are going to check the crank cable with a go, no go, gauge in all three positions shown. Once you have inspected the crank cable with a go no go gauge, we're going to connect the crank cable to the big tail inside the camera and then we're going to inspect the gap between the connection with the go no go gauge one more time. Completely connect crank cable to camera and turn the knob to operate. Open the front door all of the way and then open the back door. Grab your survey meter and walk out to your crank. Unlock the brake and then shout live source. Then crank the cable to expose the source. Put the brake back on and leave it out for the remaining amount of time for your exposure. When your exposure is over, turn off the brake and crank the cable to retract your source back into the camera. Put your brake back on and then grab your survey meter and slowly approach the camera taking a reading. You're going to want to survey from the back to front and then part of the guide tube to ensure that the source has fully retracted itself back into the camera. Close the front door a quarter turn and disconnect the guide tube. Close the front door all of the way and do the final and most important survey. Once you're finished with your final survey, yell source home and then disconnect the crank cable and replace the cover. Now you can lock the camera and transport it back to your truck. When carrying the camera, you always want to ensure that it's on the opposite side of your rate alarm meter. Thanks for watching, and that is how you operate an 880 camera.